Hi Pisces, it's Robin. I am bringing your mid-month reading. I'm going to check on the energies and love. I'm going to pull a little girl for love. We're going to look at your finances and then get you some advice. This is an interim uh, bonus reading I do in the middle of the month. I'm a day late. Definitely. <laughs> Sorry. I deal with health issues too. I love you so much. I want to show you this gift my girlfriend gave me. This is funny. You guys have a funny sense of humor, and I love you. So, years ago, my best friend gave me this little crystal pig. Isn't that funny? He got wings. Penelope the piggy. With her headstrong determination and good fortune, Penelope is in the perfect depiction of overcoming impossible odds. Her personal wager against anyone using the phrase, when pigs fly, has brought much abundance and prosperity indeed. Isn't that cute? So I keep her on my table. <laughs> my challenging little piggy. And she makes me feel good because she reminds me that my best friend loves me. <laughs> All right, let's get into your reading. I'm going to open with a crown chakra bell three times to clear the energy from prior readings, thoughts, and conversations. Let me tap in right now. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this reading is going to be for you. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, let me just start. Pisces, I'm meditating on your energy. I'm getting a lag in creativity at this moment, but I need you to know that that's not your fault. That's the energies and your empathy and your sensitivity on the planet. It's all right. It'll be all right. Let's take a look at love for my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Venus. Let's see what comes up. These readings are timeless. I have a... I have, I have, my beliefs are this. I channel. I bring the message. I put love and kindness into it, honesty into it. I leave it when I'm done and I upload it. I say a little blessing over it that whoever needs to hear it will be drawn to it. If you don't relate to the reading itself, there is more to you than just my reading. And you should double check everything. You should go and check your, your moon is emotions, you know. Um, if you're not a moon, Pisces moon. She's one of my favorite readers, too, Pisces Moon 1111. I have to go look her up again. I haven't listened to her in a little bit, a few weeks now, a few days. And sometimes when you get a really good reader, you feel like you're missing out on something. So if you have a couple of really good readers that cover certain parts of your life, don't have a thousand of them. Just have a couple that you relate to that feed your soul and you feel connected to and you feel are honest with you and not just giving you junk for money because I'm not in it for the money. I do appreciate gifts and I'm actually expecting gifts because I am a guide and I love you. Here we go. The theme of your reading is the Hierophant in reverse. Mm -hmm. There are there's things that you know that other people don't about religion, about practices, you know this deeply, intrinsically. You have the key. You knew that when you came here to the planet, you would be this very interesting person with many skills. And that no one could tell you otherwise. It's very hard to conform to religions or anything like that. But in this case, I want to call your attention to something. This is more about being completely aware and grounded. This is Taurus energy. Grounded in your faith, rooted and grounded in your faith and your patterns. Even if you're esoteric and you have spectacular knowledge of many past lives and future seeing, you still have to stay grounded, my beautifuls. That's your main message. Okay? So love is showing you that you're being, you're learning temperance. You're learning how to balance your emotions out. And uh, some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarian as well. And that's okay. I mean, 
It just depends on uh, whether you guys equalize each other's energy out in that. It's, you keep the uh, energy. Of, this is Gab considered Gabriel the angel that comes in with messages of love and nurturance for you. So you're seeking love and nurturance, and I don't blame you. Authority as well. You're taking authority over your emotions, your relationships. This could be a boss. This could be someone that you has a corporation, a business that you're attracted to or in a relationship with. This is Aries or Taurus. Uh, he's got, yeah, he's quite the ruler. I mean, he's like all the kings put together and then some. Very cosmically connected individual. Higher learning. Also, the Wheel of Fortune is here. I'll get clarifiers on these. Whether this be karmic or whether this be future fortune for you, it's future fortune. Look at an offer comes in, and it could be from this. Look at this. He's throwing up this golden orb. He knows that the answers to his happiness and existence and continuity are in it. And he also knows at peace. This is the onk peace. He's making an offer. Someone's going to be making an offer to someone. And it's going to be a new life, a new relationship, maybe a financial blessing from someone that loves you. Maybe they're going to come up and offer to marry you. You're my karmic destiny. Oh, my God. And it's followed up by these two cards. The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm absolutely certain. I know this is the right thing to do. I've heard this spiritually. This is the message that I need to follow through on. Followed up by the Hermit, which is Virgo. Could be someone extremely wise. He's got the cosmic egg, too. This is somebody who's wise. They know who you are. They know who you are, Pisces. This is someone who's ready to change your destiny. They've put a lot of energy into watching something grow uh, with almost nothing, making something out of nothing, fighting relationships, talking to the divine, saying, listen, please bless me in spite of the ground that I have to plant my seeds in. Um, this is taking good care of what you have, watching it, nurturing it, um, you have to. And then, of course, the golden coin will be the blessing that you need to take this burden off your back. Um, it could be a job offer. It could be a love offer. It could be a wedding. It could be someone proposing. It could be someone. It's something like that in your love life. And the Ten of Wands will be a relief. You've got to put the burdens down now. Now you have some. Now you have a blessing where your burdens will be put down. I'm, I'm also like freaking out over this because it's about damn time Pisces that you got a little bit of a break and someone comes in and, and gives you some love in whatever way that comes good we accept it clarify crystal visions clarify and then I'll pull romance angel cards on it yep ten of wands put down this guy tells you how to do it spiritually you're going to put them wands down you're going to move away. You're going to leave something behind that uh, you no longer have to worry about it being planted in icky ground. Because look, you got absolute wise counsel and you have absolute uh, um, jurisdiction over something. So you'll be able to take your heart and go away elegantly from something that uh, you're not feeling at this moment. Um, The Empress is in reverse, so it looks like some of you might have had and also be considering an ending with a, an Aries, perhaps, uh, I don't know, or a Taurus. It could be about this, not creating with this one anymore. It could be the end of a relationship with someone if, if someone is pregnant. It's more pregnant with ideas and plans. Starting a new relationship, a new birth to a new relationship. This is not birthing something new. And then, of course, the Ten of Wands. Seven of Pentacles in reverse again. So no more building on that old tree. you got a brand new world ahead of you. you got so many major arcanas in your love life. Your whole world is opening up now. Find your joy. Wow. Tell us what you want to say, Romance Angels, to our beautiful Pisces.
Magnificent Pisces. You're very complex water creatures. Very complex and yet so magical. I love you for that. I love you for that. Romance angels talk to Pisces. They do not want to shuffle that way. I'm going to have to trust them. True love. You're being exposed to true love somewhere. Uh, you have, yeah, romance of a lifetime. It's your destiny. Look here. Temperance. The emperor. Destiny. And then the gift. The gift is to take the burden off of you and to change your whole wide world. There's incredible wisdom and knowledge and insight with this person, whoever they are. Please bring them forward for Pisces if they don't have them. If they're single and they've been looking for this person, open that door real quick, spirit. Open it so that they can find their partner and have a fulfilled love life. It is about time. If you're in a relationship and you're ending one with an empress or whatever, you're walking away from an empress, there might be a good reason for that. They could have put them ten of wands on you, and that's too much damn burden to carry. That's all i got to say about that. They're saying there are religious factors involved, and someone has been under duress because of it. That's another thing. Maybe somebody's being too self-righteous, like, well, this is the way I believe, and that's the way I believe, and if you don't believe the way I believe, I can't be in a relationship with you. And you're like, F you, I know secrets of the universe. What are you talking about? I know how to communicate with God. Who are you to tell me how to believe? I hear that. I just heard that. Keeping an open mind, Pisces. As time goes on, and energies connect, and the powers of attraction are fulfilled, and the destiny of the angels is to bring you together with someone, perhaps. You have to keep an open mind because they might not. You'll feel them before you recognize them. This happens sometimes in divine unions. You'll feel their energy. Um, you'll sense that they are the one. And they may not look like your type. Let's talk about money for Pisces, please. From this moment forward, tell me what to expect on the financial horizon for Pisces. Tell me, Spirit, Universe, Divine White Light, Universal Energies, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Talk about the finances that they're dealing with, what it looks like for them in general. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me get a clarifier before I read that for you. Clarify the ones that are in reverse, please. Wow. Jesus, dude. Cards are coming out like crazy. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Three of Pentacles in reverse. I, I would like to know what that's about, please, Spirit, for um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These are vice versa tarot cards, and they will flip out on their own. So sometimes we deliberately flip them, some of us, when we're shuffling them, because they want to be. It's an energetic thing, and I'm sure you guys know that because you deal with esoterics. Right, Pisces? What is this Three of Pentacles in reverse? Damn it! They just want to come flying out. Sorry, you guys. I don't know what's going on. I need clarity. I'm only asking for clarity. So give me clarity on the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, please. And give me clarity on the Unknown card and the Page of Cups and the King of Wands. Wow. Oh, jeez. Okay. Starts off really damn good. You're in control of your finances now. You know where your money is. You're handling it well. Focus on your credit. Uh, you have a good, solid relationship with money. You understand that it's really just energy exchange. Right now, though, you're not in a big hurry to build anything new. You know, you're not. You're not in a, in a big hurry to invest or to make any big changes uh, or purchases at this time. Clarified by the fact that you need to keep your mind in a peaceful state at this moment. 
and you have every reason to at this moment. As time goes on, you're going to find out, though, that uh, you'll need to do something to create money because the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse, and this is right up here, upright, in love, in love. But the, in reverse, it's like maybe needing to create money because it's kind of going a little slow. You have to be very decisive. You have to be very decisive. You need to... They, some people, I just heard, put your money where your mouth is and talk to the divine and make a, make a specific choice of what you want to do because you have so many skills. How, how are you going to know which ones to tap into? Whatever makes you feel balanced. You could be working with the Libra as well. Um, this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is you trying to decide what that is. Well, you need to know in advance what you can do to score money as quickly as possible without putting yourself in debt. Um, don't go about it this way. You might come across someone who tries to, you know, get you to invest in something, and you're like, wow, that looks easy. I can do it. And yet they're not telling you everything. Seven of Swords, deceptive practices. It happens all the time. I get so pissed. The unknown card, you're not, you're not going to know what that is until you get there. The Page of Cups is in reverse. Um, you're not in a big hurry to offer your cup to anyone as far as money goes. You need to spend it on yourself and get the victory over your energy. Um, you have the King and Queen of Wands in reference to your money. Um, this is authority, ener authority over the energy of where your money flow is. Taking the dynamic approach of um, studying manifestation principles and self um Maybe even a sort of like a hypnosis. She's got her eyes closed. They both do. They have their eyes closed. They are connecting to their energy centers. They are finding out where do they need to be strong, where, they need, where do they need to cut back, where do they need to save money, where do they need to put their, their goals and their plans, and um, how to spend their money correctly. The King of Coin, King of Wands is Aries Leo Sagittarius. Aries Leo Sagittarius may be working with you, so this may be a meditation teacher you could you could study from someone that you might get understudy from. Okay, Pisces, let's take a look at the Spirit of the Real Meditation card. What is your divine message from the shamans and the, the planet here, please? Big Winds Moon. Leadership, self-discipline, discipline, and psychic abilities, no doubt. I, I, I say these things very, very strict and very forward because I believe it. February 19th to March 20th. Leadership, self-discipline, and psychic abilities. Well, I would say those born under the big wind's moon are physically connected to the spiritual realm. Their ability to com communicate with unseen forces comes easily due to their highly sensitive natures. This card signals a time when your own psychic abilities are very strong. Your intuitions are very much in tune with your higher self. Allow this connection to help you on your path. You have procrastinated long enough. Stop self-sabotaging as it's not, it not only limits your potential but feeds your insecurities. You are lacking in self-discipline. Call upon the courage of the big wind's moon to see your dreams and visions through to the end. Spirit is asking you to share the bounty of your life. Channel your creative inspiration and learn to flow with the spiritual energies around you. Take your place of power. Big wind's moon people are often leaders because of their spirituality and their natural compassion for others. Learn to trust in the greater plan. Creator would not ask you to develop and share your gifts if you were not ready. Have faith in yourself and see your dreams through. Beautiful. Archangel energy over the Pisces community right now. Show me what is the message for Pisces at this time. What is your... Who are you? Who is guarding over the energy of Pisces as of this very moment, please? Which archangel would like to send a message to Pisces? Which archangel would like to speak to Pisces? 
leadership. Take a leadership role. Archangel Gabriel, there, right at the very beginning of your reading. It's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others out of their bonds and chains and restrictions. You know how to do it, Pisces. You guys have a gift. Bring your gift forward. What a reading. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I love you so. If you appreciated my reading, please hit the like button. If you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell that says all so you can get what I give you and not miss any of my unique readings. If you want to become a member, and some of you are already, Robin's Room Reading members, you can just join me on my Patreon. There's a link below for a few dollars a month supporting my work, spiritual ministry work. Thank you for being here. I love you very much. Blessings on your journey. Namaste.